Welcome to another video. Let's talk about the rank of a matrix. It's a very important concept and I am just going to do what is most necessary. So you're given a matrix and you're asked to find the rank of the matrix. Now this is the idea. What, what are the dimensions of this matrix? Well, this is a four by five matrix. It has four rows and five columns. Number one, one thing you must know is that the rank of a matrix will always take this property. If R is the rank of matrix A, then R is less than or equal to N, or R is less than or equal to M, but R will always take the smaller value of whether N or M, whichever is smaller. In this case, um, let's say this is A is N by M, okay? So A is an N by M matrix. It has four rows and five columns. It will take the smaller value. For example, this is four and this is five. So R is less than or equal to four or R is less than or equal to five, but you can see that if this is less than this, then this is the one that wins because we're going in the less than um, um, direction. So it, it's whichever is smaller that R will be. So you looking at this matrix automatically tells you that the rank of this matrix has to be four or less because this is a four by five matrix. Now, what really is the rank? Or how do you get the rank, okay? I don't wanna go into all the definitions, but there's this corollary of a theorem. I'm not gonna talk about the theorem, I just want you to know that any matrix you see ever, you can transform that matrix into the identity matrix of the smaller dimension. So see what this means. Because this is a four by five matrix, what we're saying is that you can actually transform this matrix so that it becomes, at most, it's going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and then you're going to have zeros here because this is a 4 by 5 matrix. This is the best you can get. And if you get this, it means the rank is 4, because there are four linearly independent columns or four linearly independent rows. You're gonna have a column of zeros or a row of zeros, depending on which one has more. Because you have five columns and four rows, definitely there'll be a column of, 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 of zeros. But if it was flipped, if it was N by N, then you're gonna have a row of zeros. So basically, this is what the theorem says, but this is the best you can get. Remember the rank is less than or equal to n. In this case, our n is four. This is a four by five matrix. So this is the most you can get. It is the four. It's possible that it is less than four, such that even this one is gonna be a zero. So that you're now going to have one row of zeros and two columns of zeros so that the most you get will be just three linearly independent rows or three linearly independent columns or three pivots. Remember we talked about pivots the other day and that's it. They all um, have equivalent um, implications. It's even possible that this also is zero so that you only have two linearly independent columns. It's even possible that this is zero. <laughs> so that all you have is just one column or one row that was duplicated three times and then you had four by four rows. I mean, you have four by five, or it could be just be one column that was duplicated four times and then you had five columns. Now, is it possible for this also to be zero? This is never possible unless everything here was a zero in the first place. Yes, if all you had was zeros, then this is what you, you don't need to do any work. But as long as one non-zero entry was made in a matrix, you definitely can have all zeros. There has to be just some one somewhere, a minimum of one. 
Now, let's say this is all you got after you simplified. Then you say, because there's only one row that has a pivot, everything else is zero, then the rank of this matrix is one. If you are able to generate another one here, remember this form we're talking about is the reduced row echelon form. Okay, so that's why we learned it in the previous video. So if you're able to write this as, then you say that this has a rank of three. If you're able to generate this last one here, then it has a rank of four. But don't forget that you would always go by the smaller number. Now, if it's a square matrix, a three by three, then you expect to get a three or a two or a one. Okay, that would be the rank of the matrix. So let's do the work on this one. Now, what we do is we need to create zeros here. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to do two on this side. So let's go steps. We're going to say, so the first matrix is going to have one, two, zero, one, one. We need that. Okay, so what do we do to this one? We're going to add minus two of this to this. So let's say plus, let's say minus two, minus two R1. Let's do it that way. So minus two R1 is going to be this minus this gives you zero. This minus two of this gives you zero. This minus two of this gives you one. This minus two of this gives you one. This minus two of this gives you minus two. Nice. The next one. Oh, it's going to be minus 3R1. So there's going to be 0. I'm going to extend this a little. Okay, we're going to have 0. 6 minus 3 of this is going to be 0. Uh-oh, it's beginning to look familiar. This minus 3 of this is 2. Um, this minus 3 of this is 2. And this minus 3 of this is minus 2. Okay, one more. What do we do? We're going to add 4 of this to this, so plus 4R1. So if we add 4R1 to this, what do we get? We're going to have 0. Um, this plus 4 of this is 0. This plus 4 of this is 1. Um, this plus 4 of this is 1. And finally, this plus 4 of this is 5. Nice. We already have this automatically done for us. So we need another, oh, the pivot. Remember, remember this, that in row echelon form, let's just go straight to reduce row echelon form. Row echelon form, we're gonna have this. This is not a pivot, so we look for the next number in the next row. This is the first number. So we have to make anything under this a zero. So what we're gonna do next is this. Let's see if I can squeeze that in here. So, um, what we're gonna do, because, so we're gonna leave the top. Let's leave the top alone. One, two, zero, one, one. We're gonna leave the next row. Zero, zero, one, one, minus two. The middle row, we're going to eliminate this here and put zero, make a zero here. So we're gonna add, let's say here, what do we do? Let's put it here because I want to write what I'm doing next. So here I'm going to add minus 2 R1 to this, minus 2 R1. I don't like my notation, but just understand that that's what I did to get this. So this, or not R1, minus 2 R2 because it's this one. So I have this 0 here and I have this 0 here. But at this point, I have minus 2, this minus 2 of this gives me 0. This minus 2 of this gives me 0. And this minus two of this will give me two. Nice. And then I go to the last line. I have zero, zero. Now, what I need is add minus of this to this. So minus R1. So if I do one minus this gives me zero. This minus this gives me zero. And five minus this gives me seven. Okay. So now I have a pivot here, I have a pivot here. Well, no, this is the next one that's gonna be a pivot for me. So what I'm going to do is, this is a two. So you see where it's not easy to work with two. So what I'm going to do is divide this by two. 
so that what I get will be 1 and I can use the 1 to eliminate. Now because I'm doing reduced row echelon form, I think I should have gotten rid of, well, nothing. Let's make this a 1. Okay, so we're going to say, okay, so what do we do next? I need to get rid of, because I'm doing reduced row echelon form at this point, I'm just going to get rid of everything that's in front of it. Let's go back to the traditional notation. Okay, so I'm going to say that this new row, row 4, is equal to minus 7 row 3 plus row 4. And I'm going to say, this is going to stay. I'm going to get rid of this. That's going to be um, row 2 will be equal to minus, will be 2 row 2, will be 2 row 3 plus row 2. And this is going to be row 1. And it's going to be equal to minus row 1 plus row, minus row 3 plus row 1. Okay. So let's write out what we get. We got 1, 2, 0, 1, 0. The next one is this. We're going to get rid of this. It's going to be 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. And then we go here. We're going to get 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And finally, we're going to get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is not a pivot. This one, we've gotten rid of everything. So this is in reduced row echelon form. We don't need to worry about this because it's not a pivot. So this is a pivot, this is a pivot, this is a pivot. There are three pivots. Now, what I want you to know about rank is that the same way you perform elementary row operations, you are allowed to perform elementary column operations. And this is what you're going to notice. You can notice that if I, I can get rid of this too by just adding minus 2 of this column to this one. I can get rid of, which one is not a pivot? This is not a pivot, right? I can get rid of this. I can get rid of this column and this column. And watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to write it here. So I'm going to say the new column 2, this column, can be the same thing as minus 2 of the old column 1 plus the old column 2. And I can also say that the new column 4 can be written as, ha, ah, watch this, minus column 1 plus minus Let's see, we want to get rid of this minus column 1 plus minus column 3 plus the old column 4. So I can get rid of this by subtracting this and subtracting this from it. It's going to go to 0. I can get rid of this by subtracting two of this from it. It's going to get to 0. There's no other column you can subtract. And then you're going to see a good picture that we have. See what we have. It's going to become 0. And that's what you are left with. Now remember what I said, that you can push everything to one corner so that at the end of the day, you're going to get a matrix that has four sides. One side is the identity matrix for the rank that you're looking for. And then you're going to have some zero matrices here. Let's call this I. I don't want to use I. Let's just call it um, N1, call this N2, call this N3. This is just the number of rows and columns they have or their dimensions. I don't know what they are, but this is what you're looking for. Whatever this identity element has as its dimension, dimension is the rank of the matrix. So look at this. How can we get... We don't need the zero here. So we can do elementary column operation, which is just switching rows. So we can switch row 2 and row 5. No, we can switch row 2 and row 3 and then bring this guy here. So this can actually be written as 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So I'm bringing this here, and then I'm going to move this here, or 0, 0, 
1, 0, and then I have 0, 0, 0, 0, and I have 0, 0, 0, 0. This is what I just explained here. That's what you get. So now, what you have here is the identity matrix for 3 by 3 matrices. So this is I sub R, this is I, this here is I sub 3, and your 3 is the rank of the entire matrix. So you want to practice and get um, good understanding of this whole idea. This is a theorem, by the way. Actually, this is the theorem that I was talking about. This is the main theorem that all matrices can be written in this form, where R is the rank of the matrix, and these are all zero matrices of different dimensions, depending on how many zeros you have. For example, if we classify this, this is what this is. This is a zero matrix. It is a one by three matrix. This is a zero matrix. It is a one by two matrix. This is a zero matrix. It's a three by two matrix. And that's what I had there. Maybe my notation is not perfect, but this one is what you need to know. Okay, so the rank of the matrix, okay, implies, let's get rid of this. This implies rank of A equals three. Remember, we didn't have to go all the way in order to discover what the rank is. In fact, as soon as you found out how many pivots there are. This is the first one, this is the second, and this is the third pivot. Okay? These are your pivots. Once you find out your pivots, you know what the rank is. But, if you need to show your work all the way, this is what you must do. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stops living. Bye-bye.